EKU men's basketball back in a national postseason tournament for the third straight season. In 2013, the Colonels were in the College Insider Tournament and would advance to the second round of the CIT. And last year, they had Kansas on the ropes in the NCAA Tournament. This year, Norfolk State is in town for the first round of the CIT. Eastern hosting their first postseason game in five years, and Coach Neubauer would be looking to lead EKU to the school's 10th 20th win season. If the Colonels win, they will host a second round game on Friday. Eastern down early, but Timmy Nip has an answer for that as he collects all three of these from the corner. Ensuing possession, and Isaac McGlone gets in the middle of this exchange to force a turnover. EKU leads the nation in turnover margin as Corey Walden finishes the play. Eastern up three. Tied at 14, Walden working off a Devron Muff screen pulls up. Money. Colonels up a field goal. From there, the Spartans would go on a 16-5 run to open up an eight-point lead. Denzel Richardson pulls up from deep to spark a Colonel rally. Nip is gonna ask Walden to drop something off for him, and he's like, sure, bro, I just gotta go to the bank first. Walden will shoot five of six in the first half. Colonel's down two as Muff works down low, and he'll hit the turnaround jumper to tie it up. Muff looking to win his 100th game. Closing minute of the first half, Walden drives, dishes to Stutz, and he puts his team up five at the break. EKU up six, and Tommy Matthews hits the floater to give Eastern their largest lead. Spartans trying to get in the paint, but Walden comes up with the steal. He'd have three on the night. Other end of that steal, and Jamil Powell will be left wide open, and he buries it. He would finish with 12 points. Colonel's up 11, and Powell will ask Stutz what he can carry water in, and Stutz tells him, buckets. Stutz would pour in a game high, 22 points. Norfolk State wouldn't just roll over. After Stutz hit that three, NSU would go on a 23-10 run to trim Eastern's lead to one with under five minutes to play. NSU trying to take the lead, but McGlone draws the charge. Out of the timeout, shot clock winding down, and Powell's happy at St. Patrick's Day as that shot rims out and the luck of the Irish kisses it in. Colonel's still up four, and Paul Jackson will hit Corey Walden. He runs baseline, puts up a shot, gets the hoop in the harm, Walden would tie with Stutz with 22 points, and the Colonels hold on to win 81-75. Here's Jamil Powell after the game. I mean, I would just have to say, just staying after practice, shooting, all, all the fellas do it. We all stay after and shoot, get extra shots up. So it was a moment we all wanted to take. Everybody wanted to take that shot because everybody wanted to make that shot. So, I mean, it's just a great opportunity to come out here and play here at home again, get another chance to play postseason. Not too many guys get this opportunity. It's a lot of teams that's not playing this time of year. So EKU gets its 10th, 20th win season in school history, and of those 10, Coach Neubauer has five of them. And he'll have to wait to find out who his squad will play on Friday. I'm David Miller with EKU Sports.